Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best Apple Watch Ultra. Starting at number 5. Apple Watch Series. The Series 9 looks pretty much the same as last year's Series 8 but has the new S9 chipset for faster onboard processing of Siri commands, which improves battery life noticeably and theoretically provides more privacy for your sensitive medical data. It also has a new feature called Double Tap, which borrows from Apple's accessibility learnings. The accelerometer, gyroscope, and optical sensor will detect the minute shifts as you tap your index finger and thumb on your watch hand twice to activate the primary button on your watch screen. It's nice for stopping and starting music or timers around the kitchen. The display is also brighter, and it's compatible with watchOS 10, which has a bunch of fun new app redesigns and more health-related features, you know, just in case you feel like telling Apple all your complicated feelings about your latest brunch with your mom. Why it might be hard to find, last December, Apple decided to suspend sales of the Series 9, July 10th, Wired Review, and Watch Ultra 2 on Apple.com, pending an expected ban by the International Trade Commission. The federal agency is considering a ban because of a dispute over a patent for the technology that Apple uses in the newest watch model's blood oxygen sensor. On December 27, an appeals court paused the import ban when Apple filed an emergency appeal. The watches are currently back on sale, but we, and Apple, should have more information on the permanent status of the ban once the United States Court of Appeals has heard the motion. Coming at number 4. Apple Watch SE. If you have any doubt as to whether you should get an Apple Watch at all, the SE is Apple's entry-level option. Okay, so it isn't the most exciting Apple Watch. It hasn't been updated since 2022 and doesn't have the flashiest standout features, like the ability to check your skin temperature or your blood oxygen. The smaller, 1000 nit display is now very noticeable now that bigger, brighter screens have come to Series 9. Most regrettably of all, it does not have the next-gen ultra-wideband chip to precision locate your many other Apple devices. However, it is the most affordable of what Apple touts as its first carbon-neutral products, when bought in conjunction with the new Sport Loop, that is. It's compatible with watchOS 10, which is where many new health and wellness features show up. It has the last S8 chip, which is what the Series 8 has, and features like crash detection to call your emergency contact and emergency responders if you've been in a car accident and are unresponsive for 10 seconds. It also has the newly redesigned Compass app, fall detection, and support for international roaming, and it works with family setup. It comes in a teeny 40mm case size, and the nylon back makes it even lighter. If you have an Apple Watch, everyone in your family wants an Apple Watch. The SE will serve you, your Nana, and your 9-year-old perfectly well. At Number 3 Apple Watch Ultra 2 The Apple Watch Ultra 2 is the best Apple Watch to buy if you're doing any serious training. Like the original Ultra, the second version also has a third button, the action button, which makes pausing the watch, or lapping the watch on the move, that little bit easier with sweaty fingers, or when wearing gloves. The Apple Watch Ultra 2 doesn't reinvent the wheel, Apple has added features that have been available on most of the best running watches for years, but the Ultra 2 does feel like an upgrade from the Apple Watch Series 9 from a running perspective. Its 49mm screen is huge, but it's built for adventure, plus, the screen is brighter than before, up to 3000 nits from 2000 nits. In direct sunlight the improvement is subtle, but during testing, we could see it more clearly than the Apple Watch Series 9. While there's not a lot of physical difference between the Apple Watch Ultra and the Apple Watch Ultra 2, under the screen, there's a big one. The Apple Watch Ultra 2 packs the S9 processor, which promises the first true power upgrade since the Apple Watch Series 6. Apple claims it's 25% more efficient, built on 5.6 billion transistors with 30% faster GPU animations and 4 core neural engines that enable machine learning twice as fast. Number 2 of my list Apple Watch SE The Apple Watch SE is kind of a hybrid device, pairing an older Apple Watch design with the Apple Watch Series 8's chipset. The $249, $399 Australian dollars, smartwatch doesn't have all the Series 8's features, 
but still stands out for its great fitness tracking and safety features. It also offers an LTE option, making it a good choice for those interested in trying out family setup. When choosing between the Series 8 and SE your ultimate decision will be if you want to spend an extra $150, $230 Australian dollars, for a brighter display with an always-on option, an ECG monitor and skin temperature, and a bigger display. If those tools aren't deal-breakers for you, the SE is a highly capable option for iPhone users. It even gets watchOS 9, the most up-to-date Apple Watch software with low power mode, fresh new watch faces, an upgraded workout interface, a redesigned compass tool and the new medications app. And number 1. Apple Watch Series 9. With the exception of a subtle pink finish, there's nothing noteworthy looks-wise with the Apple Watch Series 9. Instead, its S9 processor introduces the watch's most significant performance boost in years, powering a brighter display and faster Siri interactions. An improved ultra-wideband chip enables new ecosystem functions, too. WH While not much has changed from a design perspective, during testing, we found the Apple Watch 9 faster. When switching between apps and navigating menus, the Series 9 certainly felt more responsive next to the Series 8. Using the new Smart Stack UI in watchOS 10 felt effortless as well. The display is also brighter on the Apple Watch 9, at 2000 nits. That's double the brightness rating of the Apple Watch Series 8, making it easier to see your stats on the move. Thanks to all the performance upgrades, this is the best Apple Watch you can buy right now. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.